it's not only ravaging our community, but people who have pre-existing conditions, which I think people didn't hear that. And so if you are taking medication for your diabetes, if you're taking medication because of hypertension, if you need an asthma, an inhaler for asthma, mm -hmm. if you have any kind of lung disorder, which I am still concerned about myself, Hoda, from pneumonia, because I ne my lungs never really fully cleared. So the moment I heard pre-existing conditions, I'm like, lock the door. Nobody <laughs> else coming in here. Hi, everybody. Oprah Winfrey taking a deep dive into the deadly and disproportionate impact coronavirus is having on black America in the latest installment of her Oprah Talks COVID-19 series. The critical message, no one is safe. Something she discussed in a previous episode with British actor Idris Elba. And I just felt compelled to um, tell people that this is very real. I was struck by listening to Idris Elba make a plea to people because he was diagnosed with it, pleading, saying this, there's a rumor going around that this is something that doesn't affect us in the African Well, you know, American Hoda, that's the first time I had heard about the rumor. Obviously, he was dispelling the rumor, but I didn't even take the rumor seriously. This was three weeks ago because I thought, who's going to believe that? Well, who's you know who else said the same thing? It. Magic Johnson, he was saying the same thing. He's yes. like, listen. This is serious. Like I was, I was struck by their heartfelt pleas, like begging yeah. people to take it seriously. Yeah, not only is it serious, but people that you don't know, but probably will know, are losing their loved ones. There was a bus driver from Detroit named Jason yes. Hargrove. Yes. And he was literally talking on his phone, saying, people, stop Thank getting on my bus serious. and coughing. To those who watching, I'm just letting you know this, 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 this is real, and y'all need to take this serious. He ended up dying, and I. It struck me that I was. I was thinking about all the African Americans who are in the service industry, who are doing jobs that they are coming in contact with people. Did you find in your special that that was also one of the contributing factors? Well, we as a people, as African Americans, have jobs that require us to be at work. For so many African Americans, there isn't this ability to telecommute. Testing, I mean, by uh, many accounts has been woefully inadequate, but in the African American community in particular, there are not many testing stations for people that well, have access to. We, we need, to, one of the things we were talking about in the special is, is, is the need for more testing stations, obviously. But most importantly, I think it's important for African American we to understand for ourselves that this is so serious. It's mm -hmm. taking us out. So is there anything that can be done, Oprah, from, from this point on? I mean, you're pleading, it sounds like you're trying to educate. You want people to well, know what's going on. But certainly, we certainly understand that the responsibilities and dynamics of some people's lives, particularly African-American and brown people, mm -hmm do not allow you to be able to stay at home. And so therefore they need masks. You need masks mm -hmm. in these grocery stores. All these people, all these grocery store workers who are out there without the mask, that is at this point, that is, that should not be. For now, everybody needs to look out for themselves and for their neighbors. Her, her heart's in that, and she's also putting her checkbook in that too. She donated $10 million to help Americans suffering. And uh, she told me that what she's doing with that money, you guys, is she's giving it to communities where she has a connection, yeah. like Nashville or Milwaukee or Chicago, because she wants to help those kind of communities. But you can hear it in her voice, right? Oh, yeah. I and, mean, she, and when she was talking about the rumors going around, yeah. like you yeah. remember early in the pandemic, Facebook yeah. especially, um, I had friends who had sent me these articles about how Africans, African Americans were not as susceptible yeah. to getting COVID-19. And it was, and people believed it yeah. for a long time. But it's... You know, her, her point about uh, people of color in this country not having the luxury of staying home right. because so many are hourly employees, mm -hmm. uh, that's a salient point that I think has gotten lost in a lot of, a and lot she, of this. She talks to regular folks. She talks to doctors. She talks to people in the spiritual community. So she really is going to do a wide-ranging special tonight. It was great. Well, I'm glad she's using mm -hmm. her voice because her voice is powerful, sure. and I think people will listen. I hope the message gets out. And again, Oprah talks COVID-19, the deadly impact on black America. It's available now. It's free on Apple TV.